guys deluded i'm back again now obviously uh it's uh, being a professional footballer long story short is tough it doesn't matter if you get into a club at eight years of age every year is the risk of being released you sign a scholarship at 16 years of age yes you should be excited about signing a scholarship it's your first real steps to being a long-term professional pro you're gonna be training every day nine times out of ten if you're at the top six clubs more or less maybe not directly but more or less where the stars are like at arsenal of course they eat together and things like that of course when it comes to matches and match training and all them things they're split up into 18s and the 23s and first team obviously if there's more numbers needed for the session first team not players come over i mean um youngsters come over into the first team that's how a lot get chances to impress um those that are just good enough will get a chance to impress but more often than not you're more or less in the same environment it's your first year or so feeling like a real professional footballer and then the next step is a pro deal which you're trying to really aim for when you turn 17 18 really and truly um, and clubs normally hand them out to a lot of foreign based players that they've brought over or to their most highly rated prospects so yeah Yilmaz Aksoy, he was a young keeper at the time, I believe it might have been 2011, 2010, maybe 2009, um, when it came to scholars. He was a keeper that was highly rated. We had a few at the time, which I, be, I believe even David Bentley got released and now he's gone and done his thing at Southend. Um, Yil, like I said, Yilmaz Aksoy, obviously of English and Turkish descent, was chased by Chelsea numerous times. They even tried to get him to leave Arsenal to go over there, to which he was handed a new deal. He was previously of late in Orient. He was a tower, he was a colossus in goal. He was fairly tall, he was commanding, he was composing, he was decent um, in terms of distribution. He was a keeper, like, yeah, he was a, like, he was a bad boy keeper. Um, fast forward many years, obviously he left the club. Um, some of that apparently was due to um, Damian Martinez coming into the club and question marks over the pathway. I can't verify that, that's just what's seen online. Um, obviously now he's departed the club. I believe he returned to late in Orient and he had a couple spells at, where is it? He had, he had a trial, couple trials in Turkey. Um, a spell back at Leighton Orient, he even had a spell in Bulgaria, but now he's actually a football coach. I think he's an academy coach at Fulham. I don't know if it's an, a coach in general or specific to keepers, and I believe he has his own coaching venture as well. And to which all I can say is well done, man, because this shows you how football can throw spanners in the works, how for all your potential and things like that, it might go a different way. And for every, and, and many a time I see footballers, well, people that could have been footballers, and I've told you before, walking around aimlessly, some turn to moving, moving food and doing fraud and, and, and having to get a normal jobs and things like that because they don't know anything else, but they ain't got any other options. Yilmaz has found a way to still have a future in football and a, and a, and a serious career at that, which um, he's affecting the development of players in a positive way. I'd like to think he's got his level one and his um, UEFA B and all them things I aspire to get. Obviously, his academy experience from in his period at Arsenal, he's got numerous experience to pass on to academy players in his position. Obviously, he's, he's made very much a good use of the contacts he's built within playing football and the life he had within football. I can't not rate this enough, but it just shows you how life can change because he's around what 24 maybe 25 and now he's an academy coach you go back you go back 10 years or so when he's 14 he was aiming to get a scholarship and he was and he actually did it at a point i, I guess it remains to be seen if he actually got a scholarship or departed before the scholarship so long ago i can't remember but yeah but he was tall he was agile he was like brother he, he, he was a good keeper and now he's an academy coach now he's an academy coach um again this isn't to mock him or anything i'm actually quite proud of him this just shows you that life like the book written for you in life might be completely different you could be a, 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 excluded from him at this moment now you could be a top rated prospect from the age of 16 and then by the time you're 20 you could be working in kfc so it's about having multiple options multiple options because i really like what he's did man i hope his coaching venture takes off and he's able to employ more people and make more peas man and and things like that man and I hope he progresses in his coaching career, man. But it just shows you, like, if you go and look at a number of the players around that age group, some have completely dropped out of football. Um, some have had to drop out and go into non-league and come back, like Josh Rees. Or some have taken other ventures, like Yilmaz. And um, Yilmaz, um, James Campbell's definitely one left-back Scottish inter youth international previously of Stoke. Um, if any of you that remember Sam Biles, a full-back, a couple years older than these lot. Um, it shows you what happens, isn't it? It's no, there's no linear path to being a footballer. It's filled with twists and turns, and it's about how you react, to be honest. So, yeah, I'd like to think he might still be playing at a semi-pro capacity as well, and, yeah, and things like that, maybe, and uh, maybe, but it is what it is, man. He's done his thing. Like, he's gone from possibly being a footballer to now a good, a good academy coach, and I felt it was an interesting story, so I would share it. Guys, deluded, get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out. Thank you for watching, and you guys keep doing your thing, bro. Out.